In finance, factor models are used to explain and predict asset returns. There are two main types of factor models, single factor models and multiple factor models. Single factor models are based on the idea that a single factor can explain most of the variation in asset returns. The most common example of a single factor model is the capital asset pricing model, CAPM. CAPM assumes that the only factor that matters for asset returns is the market factor, which represents the overall performance of the stock market. Multiple factor models, on the other hand, assume that multiple factors can influence asset returns. These models seek to identify several factors that are related to asset returns and use them to predict future returns. Some of the most common factors used in multiple factor models include value, size, momentum, and liquidity. Factor models are often used by investors to construct portfolios that have higher expected returns than the overall market. By analyzing the risk and return characteristics of individual assets, investors can construct portfolios that have a higher expected return for a given level of risk. Factor models can also be used to analyze the performance of mutual funds and other investment products. By comparing the factor exposures of different funds, investors can determine which funds are likely to perform well in different market environments. Overall, factor models are a powerful tool for investors and analysts who want to better understand the relationship between asset returns and underlying economic and financial factors. By using these models, investors can construct portfolios that have higher expected returns and better risk characteristics, which can lead to better investment performance over the long term. Hey there, fellow finance enthusiasts. Did you enjoy our bite-sized lessons on all things money and investments? Want to keep the financial fun going? Then don't forget to hit that big red button and subscribe to Finance in 2 minutes. Thank you.